Why do modern women speak so much about empathy even if they don't have any of it? They're the ones who don't accept a loser no matter how hard his particular situation is. For example, a man who has a few extra pounds and doesn't get a woman just gotta get fit and quit trash food. No excuses allowed. No woman, except for his mother, if at all, will love him just the way he is. In contrast, a woman with that physique is encouraged to love herself unconditionally and call the men who don't want her bad, intolerant, etc. Think of Lizzo. This applies to other inadequacies you can think of, including having a questionable past. Yeah, you guessed it right, in the case of modern women, this questionable past has to do with how many bodies and baggage they got during their prime, which makes their value go down during their decline. Guess that eventually, they want their independence and single lady lifestyle to come to an end. Things they won't have been encountering in, in dating, but in reality, this is, this is my reality. <laughs> this is my reality. All the good men have gotten married in their 20s and 30s. Because they're good men. In today's video guys, we're talking about modern women, why they complain too much, and yeah, how they take no accountability when no man wants to put a ring on their fingers. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. Embrace your masculinity. Going against the laws of nature hurts women badly. Look, their hypergamy never stops operating, but they rarely use it to get the best men out there and have babies with them. They'd rather use it to get the best man in a social setting, hook up with them, and move on to the next. In other, more extreme cases, they even have a whole list of men they resort to. Yeah. Modern women these days even have rotations of men, plus the obvious waiting list in case the current relationship doesn't work. This is great for women because they get a limitless amount of male validation and even free meals, VIP experiences, and trips. The list of benefits they get just for being pretty is too long to talk about in one video. However, beauty is temporary, and once it's gone, it's never coming back. After being wanted all the time, they start getting less attention and men only want them because she's got quite a lot of bedroom experience. That's why you can see leftover women moving things forward so fast and letting you hit almost for free. But hold on, she might be using that to lock you down and get the security no man is giving to her now. When they're over 30, unmarried, childless, and with high body counts, leftover women feel sad because other women are getting married or even married, have beautiful children, and basically fulfill their female imperative of having and nurturing their offspring. Leftover women, though, have been pursuing the wrong path, aka a career, a job they don't really like, and most importantly, male validation and meaningless flings instead of a good man who would take care and provide for her. That's why women would post cringe videos sharing advice on how to be happy in their 30s. Being single in your 30s is really tough. It is hard when everyone is getting married that you know and people you don't know because you see it on social media or wherever. What I did to be happy is literally choose things every single day that made me happy. So maybe it was grabbing coffee from my favorite coffee shop or it was going for a walk and listening to my favorite podcast. And I also increased my friend group. And so I didn't just have very, very close friends. I had acquaintances who were also single and we had a good time together. So we would go out. I just built up my social calendar so much that I didn't feel like I was missing out and I had things to look forward to and I think that's a huge part of it. I'm not going to tell you the sadness or loneliness is going to go away because it definitely creeps up but the more you build a life that makes you happy the less lonely it gets and I am still single by the way and I hear you. You've got this and you're going to be just fine. Good for her. She goes to her favorite coffee shop, walks while listening to a podcast, and has a good circle of friends. Well, those are the things men learn quite early after putting women on a pedestal. Once the girl at hand cheats on the average man or just dumps him without a good reason, he realizes he's got to go within and find happiness as a loner. 
Only after improving himself, he'll be able to land a good woman if that's what he wants. Women, though, go from man to man, and once the relationship is over, or even during a breakup, they're already texting an ex or guy they met on a dating app. This causes them to lose their value and reach their 30s with nothing but baggage and low to no pair bonding skills. The thing is that they learn too late how important it is to be okay as a loner in order to get a fulfilling relationship. By the way guys, when I say loner, I mean being comfortable with being alone. There's a difference. When leftover women think they've found their tranquility as single ladies and feel like they're ready to settle down, the men their age are just not interested in them. These men have worked too much to just settle down with a woman whose value is low compared to that of younger, more fertile women. Some men will find a good wifey with a decent amount of pair bonding skills and femininity, but others choose to bang women left and right. The problem though is that these younger women will become leftover, so they'll get tons of attention and even hookups, thus slowly decreasing their value and hitting the wall once they're around 30. If you're a virgin, I can understand why well, then you're not leftover. But if you're 35 and you've lived life and you've been through life, why should a man want you? I mean, everybody's looking at all these artists and all these stars. That's not reality, that's mm -hmm. just one off. But at 35, I had issues at 35, so I can understand that. Mm -hmm. If you're not married at 35 or in a stable relationship, has to be something wrong with you. Otherwise, why aren't you in a relationship if you're that great? Leftover women get mad at men's preferences because they say they're more into girls with no experience who can bring nothing but beauty and youth to the table. But let's be honest, men desire women for their looks and their bodies, and then they learn if the girl at hand is a good catch in terms of personality. Speaking of which, most leftover women might be over 30, but have the emotional maturity of a girl in her early 20s. She thinks that she deserves the world and top tier men, but she brings nothing that men value to the table. If she brings nothing but baggage, shaming, and combativeness, well, she'll have a place not in a man's heart, but in his sex zone. It's funny to hear modern women complain that men don't want them, but they don't acknowledge the fact that they've been picking and choosing older men when they were in their prime. The hypocrisy of leftover women has no limits, and once they get rid of it, which rarely happens, by the way, it's way too late to find a husband. A leftover woman's initiative is a sign that she wants to get out of the party with the Prince Charming, so it's your duty as a man not to be that guy. Probably a simp out there who will end up with her at the altar. Stay strong, guys. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Do you think the next generations of women will learn the lesson and preserve their value? Or will they ride the carousel and find a husband once the wall comes their way? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.